Hi, it's Phil Lindsay here from Peep Magazine. I'm here with Michael Dixon as he's uh, just signed with Mark Clausel as a professional boxer. So, Michael, what's happening? Where are you from? What's your background and what are you going to do in the professional boxing scene? Yeah, I'm from Washington. The, hopefully going to become a champion. Yeah. That's, that's my plans anyway. <laughs> so what's, what's your boxing background? I boxed since I was nine year old, nine year old all, all my life, on and off. Uh, nine year old for the last eight, nine years and had a little bit of time off and back in as a senior for another six, seven years and decided to turn professional. Yeah, so how old are you now? Uh, 31 I know. 31, but you're going to be fighting the cruiserweight, so 31 is not an old age, yeah. but it's one of those where you don't need to be fast-tracked, but it means that you're, you're probably going to be fighting more regular and stepping up a bit more uh, quickly. Well, be five fights a year, six fights a year, right. But, I mean, a, a cruiserweight, you'd probably say your peak years are around about like 30, 30, like 30 to 35 right. anyway, so you're coming into your peak there now. In terms of your first fight, do you know any, any idea when that might be? Uh, it's the 5th of July at the Stadium of Light. Like, so you're fighting on the Summer Rumble? Oh, yeah, my. Bro, you won't know who you're fighting yet? Uh, not yet, no. And But you're looking at the fights every couple of months. I know there's going to be a few more shows locally. Definitely, I. Um, before get, the end of the year. I get another bills, I. And obviously, you're coming down from Ashton, so you're the second professional boxer after John Ferguson mm -hmm. turning over. So this is, it's, it's becoming quite a scene up there now, isn't it? It is. I was, I was up in the gym up there with Keith McDonald and things are looking well. It's going good. So... So in terms of, say, 2015, obviously you don't look past your first fight, mm -hmm. but in terms of, say, once we get to the end of 2015, where, where, where would you want to be by that stage? I'd like to have like five, six fights, and then look on to a title fight or something. I felt the answer plan. <laughs> and obviously fighting at cruiserweight, I mean, do, do you have, what sort of style do you have? Is it, are, you, are, you a, are you a stylish boxer? Are you a puncher? A bit of both? A bit of both. Depends on the opponent who I'm fighting. I suppose, I suppose yeah, uh, I suppose you have to adapt to your adapt opponent, opponent as well. Is, uh, I usually like the box, you know what I mean? But if it comes with a tap, then I'm more than happy to oblige. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> that's one of the things with, yeah. with, with the cruiserweights. I think years ago, you used to get out of condition cruiserweights uh -huh. coming in and used to be like maybe just cuddling and mauling and all that, where you see the modern cruiserweights are athletes. Uh, and it's, it's probably one of the most exciting divisions for the fans to watch now. Well, the other fans want to see a knuckle, don't they? So yeah, the even your boxing purists, purists they still want to see a bit of excitement right. in there, you know yeah, what I mean? <laughs> ah, well, Michael, good luck for the July the 5th. I don't see beforehand. Good luck on that, yeah. but uh, I'll probably see you before then up the gym. Great, thank you. Cheers, Michael.